Yo, 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 rubber duckies, what is up? This is gonna be episode seven of It's a Dre Day. Um, this is also gonna be one of my uh, first episodes for my Bible studies. Um, I decided to tie it into my motivationals just because they're kind of the same thing, kind of on the same wavelength. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that into the same uh, the same playlist for you guys. Um, right now I'm playing Erica Badu, Bag Lady. I love, 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 love this song. Because, um, it, I don't know, it just kind of relates to everybody a little bit. Because you got to think about it. We tend to, uh, we tend to hold on to things. We tend to hold on to things for no reason. Like, literally. Okay, so, say, say you can't pay your light bill. Say you cannot pay your light bill. There is no physical way possible for you to pay, pay your light bill. There are no more options. You literally can't do anything about it at all. What are you going to do? You can't do anything. You, you're not able to do anything. The, so the only thing you can do is give it up to God. Like in your mind, that's your last option. Give it up to God. I can't do nothing else. He'll make a way out of no way. You just gotta give him. You just gotta give him that chance. And it's like tying back to the song again. Like, like you got too much time. When people see you coming. They take off running. Yeah, because they see all that baggage that you got. You see that people see and they feel vibes. So they be like, look, nah, I don't even want to hang out with you because you got way too much going on. You got a lot of baggage. I just, I got my own stuff going on. I can't even fathom dealing with you right now. So, um, ending on Erica Body's bag lady. Try not to, try not to hold on to all that baggage, okay? Try not to get tied up into um, into things that happened in the past. Think about things, think about how you can make your life better. You know what I mean? Don't don't dwell on the past, and that's something that I struggle with, is like, when I mess up, I dwell on it, and I'm like, I'm really hard on myself. Like, I mean, I don't feel bad for myself, but I get kind of angry where I'm like, dang, Dre, you shouldn't knew that. Like, that's something that you shouldn't do better. So that's all that that is, and um, yeah, just strive, strive for better. Don't, don't dwell in the past. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. So um, we're going to go ahead and start off in Colossians chapter 3, verse 1. Um, I know I got Lauren Hill playing. I think uh, Zion is coming up. This is That's one of my favorite songs. Like, I love that song. But um, starting off, chapter 3, verse 1. If ye, be, if ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things of the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, incoordinate affection, and, um, wait, concup, evil concupiscence, and conveyousness, which is idolatry. Idolatry? Idolatry? I I don't know. Even off camera, I struggle with that word. But, um, back to verse 6. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, in the which, in the which ye also walked sometime when ye lived, when ye lived in them. But now ye also put off all things, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your uh, mouth. And what I got from that is, basically, my biggest problem was, uh, and by the way, I'm stopping at verse 8, is uh, letting go of my anger. Because, like, I like for people to understand, like, why I'm mad. Like, I'm the type of person where I want you to know that I'm mad. I want you to know, and I'm passive aggressive at that. I just want people to know that I'm mad at them. Like, I don't want you to continue living your life 
without knowing that I'm pissed at you. So, um, I had to let that go because it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't, it doesn't matter. Whatever I'm mad about, it's a thing of the past. And usually things that happen, honestly, everything that happens in my life ends up being a lesson. It's something that I have to learn. So God put certain obstacles in my way to make me realize certain things. And I just have to overcome those obstacles, learn the lessons that I need to. And if I don't, if I don't learn the lesson, I've learned that God often puts me through the same situation until I get my act together. Moving on to verse 9. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on new man, which he renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do you. And that goes back to uh, that goes back to what I was saying in verse eight is uh, about the anger part. Is you you just gotta you really just gotta let things go. You gotta. Look, I'm going to take one for the team. I'm going to let my pride go. Shoot, it is what it is. You still got to you still got to basically love your neighbor because at the end of the day, you know, everybody sins and um you just can't you can't dwell on the past. You can't dwell on the past. Our mission is to follow Christ. We're made in God's image. So, if we're made in his image, and he was able to forgive us. Shouldn't we be able to forgive other people and let that anger go? Yeah, yeah. All right, going on to uh, verse 14. And above all things, put on. And above all things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which all ye are called in body, in one body, and be and ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in your. My dog is barking. What is my life? Go on, go on.